it's amazing. It's my first time at TIFF, and so it's very special to be here with this movie. Um, it's so exciting just to share anything um, and with this crowd and in the city and its history with the festival. Like, it's just a very proud moment. Well, Julia is in a very uh, difficult position. You know, she's kind of caught between two schools of thought. She's her beloved father who has nurtured her and poured so much into her, who has taught her tradition and values that, um, you know, she holds really dear. And then she kind of has her world kind of opened up by Caesar and she kind of falls for this man and his, uh, his amazing potential. And so she's kind of fallen in love with something that's in direct conflict with her father and, you know, the journey that they go on to some kind of place of understanding is really beautiful and it was great to explore that with those actors. They're just so wonderful and I learned so much. With Francis, um, there's no kind of like certainty what's going to happen on any given day. He's very experimental, very spontaneous, but he's also like has a very clear vision and sometimes he would come in and it'd be very, very specific, but he also gave a lot of space for play and ex exploration. So yeah, it's, it was the most unique um, experience I've ever had and probably will ever have. So. Mayor Cicero is a guy who has come from a certain period of time. He believes that things, he has very, very rigid beliefs um, about the way to be a mayor of a city. He has fallen into a system um, that has allowed him to believe that he has to serve big corporations and serve his um, a political base. Um, he is the typical politician who is good at it. His journey is that he cares about the people of New York. And his journey is that the one person he cares about the most in his life, his daughter, um, falls in love and falls under what he thinks is the spell of a very brilliant man who has new ideas that he doesn't agree with. So, you know, his journey is that of being becoming more self-investigative and becoming more vulnerable and allowing himself to, in a moment, understand that he has to change. And so this film is a lot about family, it's a lot about love, it's a lot about what allows you to look at yourself clearly for who you are it, uh, and, and not be divisive and leave your black male tactics behind. Maybe you suffer, um, you know, the... the, 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 the Maybe you suffer the loss of self in a way that you never realized before, but it opens you up to something new. It opens you up to a new child. The earth is like this new child wanting to be reborn. And have we really forgotten that? Are we really satisfied with what's happening right now in the world? I, I don't, I, I know I'm not. And I know that we're better and greater and bigger and deeper and more spiritual than all of what we speak. So it's beyond words. This movie you can feel. And when you feel that, it gives you a certain kind of hope that acknowledges that we have that space within us to agree to disagree and have it be all right. And I can still love you and you can still love me. It's not something that we have to kill over or kill for. Um, so let's preserve the relationships that we have to each other and the relationships we have to this planet. And let's bring about the goodness that we know that we can accomplish and achieve. It was pure joy to do it. Uh, you know, I want to be able to serve the, the deeper essence of creativity. And Francis is not one to dictate, but he's one to tell you stories and feed you with inspiration. And, and then allow you to do what you do the best. And I love that he is open enough to go, I don't know. Like, I, I, I kind of, this is what I was going for, this is what I think, but let's find it together. What, what I had in me was the desire to make a film that was something of my own, that was my own style. And, and I, I even took off after I made uh, John Grisham's Rainmaker, and I just went into a sort of studying what movies could be and what's the best way, how, what's the best way to work, work with the actors. <laughs> And when I came to a conclusion, then I came out and I made this, made this film. And, and, well, because they created the roles, you know, they, they were, the, the, you know, this thing about, oh, the, act, the director gets great performances out of that, that's not true. The actors do the great performance thing. The director's just a coach. He's just there to say a word here and there that helps. But the actor does the hard part. Because it, you're, you're sharing something with an audience of, Hopefully, two, three hundred people, and 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 it's 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 
it's an ancient Greek tradition to see th see beautiful films with a with a crowd of people. To it, it's not something you want to see alone. You know, I still remember seeing uh, seeing uh, Lawrence of Arabia or seeing the, the, those films with audiences, and, and as an experience you'll never forget. Well, this is this film is about what kind of future we want. Uh, we want to have the, our children live in. It's really, it's up to us. The kids are going to inherit, whether they inherit a mess or they, they inherit a Garden of Eden. It's up, it's up to us to do it. And we have the talent to do it. We have, it's, it's not necessary that things be awful. But when you look at it, you're going to say, wow, what was that? I want to see it again. One thing I guarantee is not boring. So it's all right. If you see it a second time, it's, it's even more fun. I mean, I remember the first conversation that me and Francis had. I was just like, I feel like that character has a lot of dimension and colors, and I connect to her personally with what I've been through. So I, I think she's funny and thought-provoking and all the things.